Carolina's got a little bit of a wrist thing going on, so we went and decided not to put her through Bujibadasana, but we're sticking to our plan and we're going to do it anyway. So that was my effort at it. And you might have seen that actually my feet are crossed the wrong way round. It should be actually left over right and mine's right over left. Yours too? That's cool. It must be, maybe it's something to do with the hemisphere that you live in, I reckon. <laughs> so there's, there's quite a th few things going on here. The first thing is the ability to actually get your legs bound in front of your arms. And that can be like a really big challenge to start with. And a lot of that is to do with the openness in the hips, the external rotation in the hips, the size of your torso relative to the length of your legs. Sometimes you've got big, strong, thick legs, difficult to get them round and actually get them bound. So a lot of it is to do with getting the setup right and getting deep. So let's have a look at how Carolina would set up to go into Bujapidasana. So it starts with a... Sometimes see people jump into it. We'll be leaving that one for today. That may take another few years to get the hang of. But if you're not jumping into it, you're going to jump your arms around or step. Yeah, and then you're trying to get as deep through your legs as you possibly can. And we're not going to hold Carolina in these things for very long. Um, but once you're in this position, then with your shoulders through as much as you can, then you're going to place your hands down behind your heels. And now we're going to use where our legs are as a little bit of a counter lever. And that's where we're going to pivot from. So as our bum goes down, our feet go up. And then we cross our legs. Yeah? So that would be stage one for people that are having trouble to actually bind would just be to work with this or work with them out without them actually bound. If you can't actually cross them, then work there and just try and sit up as straight as you possibly can. Yeah, and oh, and we can straighten one leg and lengthen the other one, which might be a challenge for some people's hamstrings, <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Good, so if you can get to stage one, the next thing is what are we going to do with the head as it comes down? So from here, we need to start bending the elbow, flexing the elbow, sending them back a little bit as we start to come towards the floor. And so we're aiming for the chin, potentially, in the full expression of the posture. And we're bring, just bringing you back straight back up again. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too much help, yeah? So <laughs> retake. <Yes. So laughs> So we're working now towards, we can, we can just about cross our feet. So we're thinking what to do with our head. And it seems to be more sensible, first of all, to come down and just place the top of your head down. But we don't want a whole load of weight on it because then we're not going to get back up again. So just there, but just keep it there and then just come back up again. So before you lose it. The next thing you've got to be able to do is try and keep your feet off the floor. So that requires a lot of pulling up, a lot of banders, pulling up the, the center, trying to curve this part as well. As now they're going through, she's keeping off. And this is where the hard work also starts, is this ability to keep them off at the back. Because once they're resting down, then we've sort of lost the integrity of the posture and we're just going to be scraping them through as we come back up. So really working strong there and then lifting and pulling yourself through, yeah? We'll let you rebind into it again. It seems to be as well that the tighter you get, so the more you get your shoulders through and the tighter you get your legs, actually, it doesn't give you much space then to come back and through. It seems like a little more hard work also coming through. But I think it pays off in the end. So work with that real tightness because actually you'll get the opening as against working with a loose grip. It seems to give you a little bit more ease to actually go through, but I think it's counterproductive if in the long run. So what we'll do is we'll get you to go into it again. And now, so once you've got the hang of coming down with just touching the top of your head and you want to keep it really light, then you're going to work at coming down towards with your face, yeah? And the idea again, I think, is not to actually rest down, is to float your face just above the floor. So you're down, but actually, again, you're ready to come back up at a moment's notice. So Carolina is going to really work on keeping those feet up, keep the cross, and then she's going to come down and then before she touches her face, she's just going to stop there. And then, how are those feet doing? Yeah, they're just hovering. Then she's just going to come back up again. 
yeah? And for me also, I find, perhaps we'll let you out, Carolina, because of your, rest, uh, your wrist, I'll just give you another little go. I can do it maybe from here also. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's come here. So what I find also, and I, I don't think it really works in with the vinyasa count, or the vinyasa of the posture, but from here, once my legs are crossed, now I've got a really strong cross, and but what I like to do is actually lift up. I lift up and give myself some space before I actually start coming back. And you see how far my feet are from the floor? And here, here I'm just, I could rub my nose on the floor, but I'm not there. And then from there, the same thing, really strong arms, but the same thing, I'm really pulling in with my feet as I bring them back through. And there I'm strong again, yeah? And from there you can transition out of it. So it is a really tough thing, and it really works the, the triceps. So it's something you want to build up gradually by just coming down as far as you can and coming back up again. Don't be tempted to go deeper than you can do and then just be resting on the floor and then have to drag yourself back up again. Just work a little bit and then you'll be able to go a little bit deeper as you get better at it. Good. See you again soon. Makes you puff. <laughs> <laughs>